Today I'm going to show you some of the advanced features on our catalog site. To get to our catalog, you can go to catalog.prendergastlibrary.org. Before I showed you how to do a basic search and how to place items on hold, today I'm going to show you how to do an advanced search. Under the blue bar that says search, you'll see an option that says advanced search. Click here. Under advanced search, you have multiple options to help refine your search. You can also search with multiple keywords, or you can also search title and author. First, I'm going to show you how to do a keyword search with multiple keywords. We're going to start with searching World War II, but we're also looking for World War II in the Pacific. All right, so we have the option and. You can also do or or not. So these are called Boolean searches. There are different ways to do a more focused search. All right, click search. You'll see our search returned 562 results. Had we just done a search for World War II, it probably would have returned many more than that. Or if we had just done a search for Pacific or Pacific Ocean, we would have gotten a greater amount of results. So this helps narrow our search to start with. And as you look at the titles that it came back with, it's given us titles in the area, subject area that we are looking in. That is one way to use the advanced search. Let me show you some other options under the advanced search. Aside from doing the keyword author or title searches, you can also limit initially your search to certain items. So say we were looking for World War II, but we wanted just DVDs. We could select DVD. Now you'll notice there's multiple options. That's because different libraries classify things slightly differently. If you're looking at the James Prendergast, we only just use the DVD for DVDs. Okay, so let's search. Now this pulled a lot of results, way more than I was expecting. But you'll notice that our results all say video recording, so they're all DVDs. So there's a lot of DVDs on World War II. So once again over on the side, we can narrow down our selections by library, by type, and by location. So I'm just going to select James Prendergast Library. And you'll see that cut our results down significantly. Still a lot of results, but it cut it by over half. So some other things under the advanced search that you may have noticed. You can also search by shelving location. So if, so if you know where things are located in the library, you can use these options. The ones that we use for the James Prendergast Library are second floor, which has a lot of our nonfiction. We use adult fiction. We use audiobooks for our audiobooks. We use biographies for the biographies. Children's area is the children's room. We also do use children's new book, new books, and young adult new books. And then we also use main floor, which houses our other part of our nonfiction. And we also use young adult. And then videos is where our DVDs are located. Those are the areas I recommend using if you're going to limit by shelving location. Other options you'll see down here, you can also do a publication range, you can do language, and then you also can initially choose which library you want to narrow your results for, and you can also select how your results show. You can do by popularity, author, call number, or by publication or acquisition. Alright, and then up here, under collection, you can also limit by this. Collections that we use are DVD, Easy Picture Book, Easy Reader, Fiction, Nonfiction are our primary ones that we use. That is how you do advanced searching on our catalog.